So if we were starting from zero today, what would we do different is the actual question, but we just keep reading it the same thing. That's I mean, a good thing, yeah. I mean, me, realistically, obviously, I want to preface this by saying that I wouldn't do anything different because I'm very happy with the position I'm in. But looking back at the mistakes I made, I'll answer the mistakes I made, right? I think it's a better question. Um, but I obviously wouldn't do anything different because then otherwise I wouldn't be in this position, okay? So I would have just, I suppose, if I started with zero dollars, I wouldn't have really done anything different. I would have done side hustles, which is what I was doing anyways. I would have got nine to five to learn more skills. Yeah, it's like, okay, go on, go on, nuance. Yeah. I think, um, right, it's it's not even about the money. It's about the mindset. And the way I look at it is because in hindsight, I wish I started a lot younger. I don't have any regrets though, because I believe every step you take in your life gets you to where you are today, right? But first thing I would do is change my environment, right? I'd cut out the friends who add no genuine value to my life. I'd put myself in an environment where I'm very uncomfortable. And I would just take action, right? The biggest mistake, one of the biggest mistakes I made is I spent so much time just watching motivational content. Watched a ton of different people and just keep watching, watching, watching. And I get that dopamine hit, right? Because I think, oh, I feel really good watching this, watching that. When in reality, what I wish I had done was taken action sooner. I wish I had just started because the biggest thing that I've learned today is the biggest way to actually learn is by failing, making mistakes, and then learning from your mistakes. You need to be in the right environment. You need to surround yourself by people who also want to achieve what you want to achieve. And then you just have to take action. Like Craig said, get a job, get something that allows you to get money coming in, reduce your overheads, right? Put yourself in a position where you're not make where you're not spending a ton of money and you're not just at break even every month or even at a loss, right? And then the final thing is just take action, take action. Every single day, the night before you go to sleep, Craig actually told me this one, but he was like, the night before you go to sleep, um, write down a to-do list of everything that you're gonna do for the next day and put yourself in this position where you will not go to sleep before you achieve everything on that list. Essentially, what you have to do is you have to instill a mindset. That means that you refuse to give up and you just have to take action and keep going. That's it. And you will see the money come. Focus on learning and the money will then start to come. Yeah, pretty much. It's a weird question though, because it's like an it's like okay, am I starting with the same knowledge I have right now? I would understand. I mean, I would really do side hustles. I would do anything. Just get on the fucking streets, get selling some bullshit, waffles, whatever. I know that waffle business works. It'd be super super easy. Um, I would get potentially even a shitty nine to five. I'd ask around, ask friends, get a shitty nine to five. Doesn't matter. Just get money coming in. With every single second of my spare time, I would put into a business. Obviously, I would do Etsy drop shipping. That's the best business for a beginner right now. But yeah, I would just do that, right? Like if I was starting with zero dollars, I would just get cash, get any money, doesn't matter. I would also sell everything in my fucking room. Sell everything, get rid of everything. I'd sell all this, I'd sell this monitor, I'd sell the microphone, I'd sell my, not laptop, but I'd get, I'd downgrade my laptop. This laptop's like two grand. So I'd go get one that's, five, sell this one for 1.5, go get one that's 500. I would sell all of the phones. I would sell everything to get as much cash cash as possible. I would then work on getting cash flow as quickly as humanly possible. Whether that's through a side hustle, whether that's through a nine to five, whether that's through Uber, whatever. I just get cash coming in. I want money coming in because I think for me, moving out of my parents' house was a very, very big thing that I did. And you need $500 a month to do that, I would say. $500 to $600 a month to, to do that. So if you want you want to be earning, what, two to three, really? Two to three online is two to three, just side hustles, nine to five, whatever. It's very, very simple. And you can still have the majority of your week. Then with the rest of my week, I would literally tell my friends, yo, boys, like, I ain't going to be seeing you much for the next year. I'm going to be focusing on myself. Um, don't, don't take offense if I say fuck off to me going out. I tell my family members as well, I'll be super honest with them because I don't want them to think I don't like them. I just want to be honest and say, I'm trying to improve myself, trying to work on myself, blah, blah, blah. I would then literally just lock myself in a room for the next six to 12 months, work on my business every single day, grind and hustle every single day. Not go out maybe once every four to six weeks. That's all I do, just work, study, understand everything. Just keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. Obviously, if I was starting again with the same knowledge I have right now, it'd be very easy and the same connections. It'd be very, very easy to get back to 100K plus per month. Like, it could be very, very easy. 